Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I recently picked up yet a, another bike for, for restoration. It's a bit of a mystery bike as I'll go into in a, a, a few moments. So this, this bike used to belong to a German woman who after the Second World War married uh, someone in the uh, British Army and moved back um, to uh, England with him and he uh, bought her this bike. Um, to, to ride around the village. The, the local, uh, local people would apparently boo her um, as she rode around the village on account of her being uh, German. Eventually when, uh, when she died, she, uh, the, the bike passed uh, to her son and it remained in storage for, for many years. And then uh, when he passed away, his daughter was having a clear out and well, apparently she didn't get on well with uh, with her dad and she just wanted to throw all of the uh, possessions, including this bike, in a skip. And it was rescued from the skip by uh, a friend of hers who thought it was, you know, too good to go to waste and has basically spent the last year and a half trying to give away this bike uh, free to, to a good home. We don't really know exactly what kind of bike this is. It's definitely a rally. It has a front dyno hub, which is a Sturmey Archer GH6 uh, hub, uh, dated 1952. And then when we look at the frame numbers, that's been dated to 1950, so late 1950. The front wheel is a uh, later replacement. It's fitted with a um, a Perry coaster brake, which is very unusual, usually only found on uh, export models. So we don't know if that came new or um, was was later added. Once uh, once I've taken it apart, um, there are apparently like date stamps on the inside, but you can't see them at the moment while the uh, while the hub is fitted uh, to the bike. The the handlebars on the bike. Um, look like they belong to a rod braked model but if you look at the frame uh, there's no um, like holes and things where you know rod brakes would be would be fitted I mean, it's, it's possible that you know when it came out that rally just put a rod brake handlebar on on the bike or it could have been you know a later later change it's got a front caliper brake um, we can see that by the brake lever, it's not, it, it, it looks like it's a custom build. So while trying to identify the, the, the original model of, of this bike, um, I've referred to the 1950 uh, spares catalogue from Rally. That's uh, available on uh, 3speedhub.com. And looking at the frame and various other bits and the, like the forks, um, and whether or not the, the forks had like uh, an, a you know, a, a bolt going all the way through for the mud guards or only part way through. Um, I've tried to uh, narrow it down. So what I think this could be is a, a Rally Trent, um, based on the fact that even though it's got, um, you know, rod brake style handlebars, it hasn't got any kind of rod brake fixture holes. Um, on the frame, so that kind of rules out rod brake model. But I'm not really, not really sure. What I need to do is once I take the bike apart and look at like the date stamp on the on the rear hub, um, see whether that was 1950 or if it's a later change. Because if it's the same age as the frame, it may have come with that, and you know that might be an entirely different answer. So let's have a look round the bike and see what needs doing to it. I 
I think given the history of the spike and how much well character it has and its interesting backstory I think it would be um, a shame to do a complete you know restoration back to back to original um, I think it would be better to do a uh, kind of an oily rag um, restoration on it um, replacing out you know all the worn out parts like you know the chain and the you know the, the chain ring um, and just get it um, you know riding again um, it's not the original colour obviously um, would have been I think black originally um, but it is a lovely shade of blue So coaster brakes are more commonly found on American and European continental uh, bicycles and they involve basically a single speed hub with kind of a drum brake inside them and when you pedal backwards the, the brake is applied. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next uh, episode comes out. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, please let me know if you've got any uh, guesses about uh, what this bike started off as. So until next time, bye for now.